All right, YouTube. Today we're going to have an educational uh, moment. And we're going to talk about something now. I, I recommend you, uh, this is just for learning purposes. I'm not suggesting you do this. Uh, but this is uh, something that you should be able to know how to do at least or be aware that this is an option. And what we're talking about is how to construct a man trap. And, uh, I mean, if you've got a bear trap in your, uh, in your garage from your grandfather's days, then there you go. You've already uh, uh, completed the course. But if you don't, here's something that they used to use and do back in Vietnam that apparently proved to be a pretty uh, formidable uh, trap, if you will. Now, for the sake of this demonstration and discussion, we're going to scale things down a bit. So, envision, instead of this soda can, we've got a 55-gallon drum. And depending upon whether you want this to be completely sedentary or be able to be moved easily, you may or may not want to fill the bottom part of the drum inside with two or three bags of uh, cement, just to add weight. Because keep in mind, a bag of cement weighs 80 pounds. Three bags, you got 240 pounds in there. Anyway. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your 55-gallon drum and you're going to draw a line from one edge to the other. And then you're going to take your grinder or your acetylene torch or your plasma cutter or whatever you got and you're going to cut that line from one side to the other. Then you're going to cut or you're going to mark lines this way. About every inch and a half all the way across all right like you're creating well what you are creating are teeth so you've marked all the lines this way and then again you can use your grinder your plasma cutter your acetylene torch your uh, whatever you got and you're gonna cut those lines all right now one option you have especially if you've got a grinder is you can put as you got to the to the seam here you can cut diagonal, boom, 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 diagonal that way, and then diagonal this way. And what you'd wind up doing is putting a point on each one of the other fingers that you're creating. So, in my little demonstration here, I'll show you that I've cut it lengthwise and cut across with uh, uh, my knife to, uh, to create the fingers. Now, looking at it, do I feel confident sticking my finger in there? Probably not. Let me uh, let me grab this screwdriver and uh, no, god damn it! I guess I gotta stick my finger in there. <laughs> Can I recommend? Don't do this at home. But if you now bury this out on your property, up to that, you know, right to there, maybe put a piece of newspaper across the top or something with some dirt on it. But you've got this buried out there. If you put a log here, the normal thought in getting onto your property is going to be to step over the log and to step into the man trap. So as the individual steps into the can or into the 55 gallon drum that you've cut the fingers into, what's happened is they've bent the, uh, the, the, the claws down and now, uh, those claws are probably impaled into the, either the calf or their thigh. And uh, that person is now out of the game. So, uh, let me extract my finger for a minute here. So a quick and easy way to uh, make a man trap out of a 55 gallon drum. Uh, again, this has been solely and strictly for educational purposes and I do not recommend you do this at home without parental supervision and the appropriate waivers and uh, uh, what have you. Anyway, do me a favor, uh, subscribe to my uh, channel, leave comments down below, and uh, it'd be great to hear from you. Again, Shelka04 out. Thanks.